Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fifth OAuth tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can set up Passport to use it in our project. All right then, so now we have our Express app up and running and we've created kind of all the different auth routes such as the login route, etc. Now I want to move on to installing Passport into our project so that we can use that to help us with the authentication process. So I've headed on over to passportjs.org. This is the website for Passport and it's going to tell you a bit about it. So it says right here, it's a simple, unobtrusive authentication for Node.js. And down here, if you looked at this, you'd think it would be just a one line code, a one line thing. You say passport.authenticate, then whatever uh, authentication method you want to use. And voila, it's done magic, but it's not quite that simple. But by the end of this series, you're going to know exactly how to use it and how to set up different authentication methods like GitHub or Facebook. So to use Passport in our project, we're going to have to install two libraries. First of all, the Passport core library, which comes with all the functionality we're going to need to authenticate users. And then secondly, we're going to have to install what's known as a strategy. And all over this website, you're going to see mention to different strategies. Look, 300 strategies now, strategies. So let's click on this. And strategies are the different ways that we can log in using third party providers such as Facebook or Twitter or Google or LinkedIn or any other way of logging into your application. So we want to log in in our example using Google. So we're going to use a Google strategy and we're going to install that as well as the core passport library. So let's install those things now. So I'm going to just open up my terminal right here and cancel out of the process. And then we're going to install these two different things. Now, the first library we want to install is Passport. So we'll say npm install, and it's called Passport, just like that. And we also want to install the Google strategy. Now, we're going to use one called Passport-Google-OAuth20. And the 2.0 looks like 20. It stands for 2.0, really. It's because we're using OAuth version 2 specification. So we're installing these two things right now, Passport and Passport Google OAuth 2. So click enter to install those and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so once those are installed, we can now use them in our project. So let's now create a new folder. I'm gonna call this folder config. So I'll say new folder and we're gonna put all our different configuration files in here and we're gonna create a file right now for the Passport setup. So I'll say new file and call this passport-setup.js. So, I mean, we don't have to put this in the config folder. We can put it in a different folder called services or however you like to kind of structure your different folders inside a project. I'm just keeping it in config to keep it simple because we're going to have other files in here later on as well. So the first thing we need to do at the top is require passport. So I say const and we'll call this constant passport, set it equal to a require and then passport. So that's going to require this module for us. We also need the Passport Google OAuth module. So I'm going to say const and we'll call this Google strategy. And I'm going to do that with a capital kind of convention, I suppose, when you're using different strategies. So Google strategy, set that equal to a require once more. And inside it's called passport hyphen Google hyphen OAuth to zero. Okay, long winded, but there we go. So now we've imported the two libraries, Passport Core and Google Strategy Library. So now we want to set this up and we want to tell Passport that we want to use the Google Strategy for our project. So the way we do that is by saying Passport, which is what we've just imported right here. And we say dot use, a bit like in Node.js, uh, sorry, Express, when we use some middleware, we say app.use. In Passport, we're going to use a strategy by saying passport.use. And this takes two parameters. So the first one is going to be the strategy that we're going to use. So I want to say a new Google strategy, like so. So what we've just imported up there. So we're using a new Google strategy. And this Google strategy is going to take in an object. And this object are going to be the options for the strategy. Okay. So we're going to pass those in later on when we configure this. And in fact, let's just make this a little bit more legible. So we'll do that, that and scoot these along. Okay, so that's the first parameter we need to pass in to this passport.use function. The second parameter is going to be a callback function. 
So I'm going to use an arrow function right here. And I'm not going to pass anything in it whatsoever at the minute, but there will be something that goes in here later on. So this callback function is going to fire at some point during the authentication process. And we're going to talk about all of that later on. But for now, we'll just leave a comment in here, which is going to say passport callback function. All right. So what we've done in this tutorial is we've installed these two libraries, Passport and Google Strategy. And we've said that for Passport, we want to use a new Google Strategy in our project. And we're going to set this up in a later tutorial. So now that we've installed these two modules right here and kind of set up Passport to use a Google Strategy, in the next video, I want to explore these options that we place inside the Google Strategy object.